What's going on everybody? My name is Caleb. This episode we're going to take a look at our first mod manager for Minecraft. This is known as CurseForge. It's a great way to manage our mods as well as find new ones out there. So to get started what we're going to do is we're going to go to our computer and we're going to open a web browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to CurseForge.com. And this is exactly what we want. So what we're going to do is we are going to get the app, CurseForge app download for Windows and then open the file. This is what it's going to look like. We're going to just go through the installation process. Accept, next, and let this download. All right, there we go. And from here we can launch CurseForge. So I ran into an issue where it just freezes on this preparing for first launch. And maybe that's a Windows 11 thing. Hopefully you guys can get through that, but it never does end up launching. I can show you this on Mac, which is pretty much the exact same experience. It's going to look like this. And in here, you can go and see all of the different games that CurseForge supports. We're going to go into Minecraft, browse mod packs, and scroll through and find anything you think is really super cool. Now, one that I think is pretty good is I actually have installed here. It's called Better Minecraft. And this is going to install a bunch of different mods. So what we can do is we can go up here and search better. And you can see there's two versions here, Better Minecraft Forge and Better Minecraft Fabric, which are two different approaches to modding Minecraft. And we're going to be starting off with Forge. So basically you wanna make sure you get the right version. So we're gonna go with Better Minecraft Forge 1.17.1. You can see it has 141,000 downloads. Just go ahead and hit install. Or once it's already installed, it'll say play. And that's gonna show up in your mod collection. So you actually launch Minecraft from this page. You hit play, it's going to launch a Minecraft instance with those mods activated. And you can see here is the Minecraft launcher loading. Now, this is where it's going to be important to focus. You want to make sure you get the better Minecraft launcher. Hit that and hit play. Otherwise, none of your mods are going to be activated. All right, here we are on better Minecraft, which you can go to single player. You almost likely need to create a new world with this launcher. Hit create new world. I didn't even get the chance to check what mods are enabled, but if you go into the mods option, you'll see a bunch of different mods enabled. All right, it's rendering, and you can probably already see some differences from vanilla Minecraft. You can see some extra stats in the bottom. You can see a map, which is just the coolest thing. You can search around and find new items, and if you like hover over something, it'll say what it's from. You can see at the top it says grass block from Minecraft. You might be able to find some special creatures swimming around. You can see the new visuals with the apples in the apple tree where you can tell which blocks give apples and what mod that's from. Croptopia. There we go. So it's actually a combination of a bunch of different mods. and probably gives a whole different playing experience. So that is how you get started with CurseForge, how to launch a mod pack. And when you download a bunch of different ones of these, it'll be very easy for you to switch between them using the CurseForge mod manager. There are other ones out there and a bunch of different mod types, so there's a lot to learn, but this is a great place to get started. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming episode.